Why should I vote? Christian social teaching teaches that everybody has the right to participate in the cultural, social, and political affairs of society. The right comes with responsibilities. Electing a government to serve and work for the well-being of all is one such responsibility. Jesus invites us to render unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. Our right to make our voices heard means that we can contribute to the orderly running of society. Voting is one opportunity citizens have to express their satisfaction or dissatisfaction with their government. Cynicism may lead us to turn our backs on the civic duty. By participating in the election process, we can rightfully criticize the government that emerges, particularly if it lies or backtracks on electoral promises. How does my vote work? Elections are organized by the Independent Electoral Commission, which guarantees the secrecy of your ballot, your vote for a party or individual candidate. The chosen party or candidate is assigned to parliament, provincial legislatures, and municipalities according to the proportion of votes they receive. Parliament then elects the president by a simple majority, and the newly elected president then forms an executive government by appointing ministers and other officials. How do I choose the best candidate? We need to discern, think critically and pray when looking at the track record of parties or candidates standing for election. Who best embodies or least violates the principles of Christian teaching about the dignity of all people responsibility at all levels of society, equal rights for the poor and marginalized, and a shared future together. We must explore how they have performed in leadership or in opposition. What kind of future do you want for South Africa? What leadership do we need to realize this future? Which party or candidate is most likely to deliver? It might not be the party you have loyally supported, supported for many years. Which party should I vote for? The church does not tell you who to vote for. You choose the best party or candidate possible and vote with a clear conscience before God. In the interest of the whole country, we vote for those who will serve competently and honestly at every level of government. Support a party or candidate that aligns with your values, beliefs, and the needs you seek. We may ask whether or not the party cares for human life and dignity from the moment of conception until its natural end. Cares for the common good rather than some privileged groups, acknowledging that sometimes the common good may only be fully realizable over time. Gives special support to the poor and marginalized, promoting their economic and social well-being. Promotes peace, solidarity, and harmonious coexistence nationally and internationally. Ensures that everybody has access to affordable, quality health care. Provides universal quality education and supports religions in running their schools. Gives financial support for family life, a basic building block of society tolerates no discrimination or victimization based on religious, sexual, or ethnic identity, does not hinder people from exercising whatever religion they belong to while prohibiting religious intolerance or coercion, protects refugees and migrants, and forbids any form of xenophobia, works actively for a clean, safe, and healthy environment for present and future generations, allows freedom of information, and the media, promotes cultural exchange, the arts and ethical scientific research. So should I vote for a party that has the same faith that I do? Not necessarily. South Africa is a secular republic which respects the freedom of religion rather than a theocracy. We do not have policies 
of any specific religion as national policy. South Africa has had many outstanding servant leaders of all religions and people of no faith. In the books of Isaiah and Ezra, we see the example of King Cyrus of Persia, a pagan. He did God's work by allowing the Jews to return to the promised land from their captivity and to rebuild their temple. What should I do if all political parties all look bad? Some people have stolen or misused public funds. Others have failed to implement programs for the development of communities. Others have not worked for the well-being of their constituencies. While we are forbidden to participate in evil, we sometimes need to choose the lesser evil. Our vote can then be used strategically to keep a more reprehensible party or candidate out of power. May I vote for a party that is putting forward a convicted criminal as a candidate? Normally, no. However, if the criminal has repaid their debt to society and genuinely appears to have repented and gives grounds for confidence that they have committed themselves to public service, then it might be possible to say yes. When I step back and reflect, what should I pray for? We should pray for a government that will prioritize the common good over party politics, good policy over ideology, and work to eradicate corruption. We should pray that our public servants develop a sense of pride and satisfaction in offering efficient and humane service to everyone in the country. We may want to take the following questions into our individual prayers and group discussions. What are my deepest concerns for my community? Which party or candidate represents the very best for all people in South Africa? What am I prepared to do for my country?